Hello, beloved. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm actually inside this um, little castle. You probably uh, see a painting uh, behind me. Um, that's not... Uh, uh, I, I don't think this is exactly what... Uh, the place where we are here. Uh, it's just, just an interesting uh, place that um, some people were concerned that so much uh, history and who knows. Uh, <laughs> I was asked if I, if I saw any ghosts. <laughs> um, what I know for sure, and there were few others that uh, witnessed this, uh, there are so many angels this is a battle now this is a place a house of the lord that the angels are um, going up and down <laughs> upon us so not i'm not i'm not super concerned um of um, you know what the enemy is trying to do i i i think that the kingdom of god took over this place so it's a place of uh, big blessings everybody that's here so far it's super blessed super touched by the lord and i i, I love this um, feeling that uh, the holy spirit really took over this place um, coming close to uh, the wedding time um, because we talked about the preparation for wedding um, and you might see or might hear uh, people coming uh, around here I'm in a larger place here in the library um, because preparation uh, it's happening for the wedding here but uh, we're talking about the preparation for uh, our as the body of Christ as the church wedding with Christ and we said that there was there is uh, something completely done finished is what Christ did for us he did for his wife and then what is right now when we are engaged betrothed with him as the Apostle talks in 2 Corinthians 11, that is a very clear um, covenant, right? There's rings involved, there's a commitment involved. This is not something that, well, it's a, um, uh, it's a maybe, no. It's, it's a sure thing. And in that, uh, in that place, in the place that we are, um, the the changing of our soul, the transformation is for this, uh, the two things that he says in uh, 2 Corinthians 11, the simplicity and the purity. Right? Simplicity, it's a single-minded Christ. Christ, what he says, what he did, who he is, the word of Christ. Uh, the person of Christ is the only thing that I care about. And uh, the purity is uh, staying away from the mixture with Babylon, discerning any kind of thing that tries to come and mix in. Um, and uh, it's interesting, as I said in different uh, recordings, that... Um, Italy, it's a place where the world is really taking over lots of souls, lots of minds. Um, and uh, this is where we come from above with the good news to open their eyes to see how much they are loved by the Lord. So preparation, we, 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 we talked about uh, the, the soul of our Savior, the Savior of His body, the fact that He came and saved us before we even knew, while we were enemies, He says in 
uh, Romans. We were enemies to him. He gave himself for us. To me, this is so powerful, so amazing. You save your spouse <laughs> before he even knows that, uh, you know, knows that, you know, how to love you, how to receive you. The power that changes the spouse. And then um, the, the, the way that he sanctifies, he sanctifies us by cleansing by the bath of water in the sphere of the word. This sanctification, this setting apart that sanctify, is setting apart for himself. You know, that's, it's so different. Um, lots of times he tries to get our attention. He shouldn't do that. I mean, we should be focused only on him, but uh, we get distracted. I remember uh, we were in London um, a week ago or so, and um, the spirit we felt over the whole city was distractions. Um, it, it's like go here, go there, do that, do this. It's nothing is completed, finished, and something already starts, <laughs> right? And you you cannot focus. So the sanctification is elimination of these distractions, right? So you can stay in this pure connection with Christ it's him that you are connected with and that's why he brings this bathing in the word of God the word of God is not just renewing your mind but is cleansing your mind and your soul your whole soul is cleansed your emotions are cleansed by the word of God love each other with the pure fervent love you know that you know not fake love you know that that fakeness is a distractions from the sphere of the word right that's cleansing our minds this is exactly what he's doing cleansing the mind that's the power that he has for your emotions, for your will. The will that sometimes is so distracted in all this type of choices, good and bad, and the tree of knowledge, and I should have, I could have, I didn't. And the word of God comes and cleanses. He sanctifies you for himself. You're sanctified. And then things that are around you, your relationships become sanctified by the word of God, by the same word. And look, the purpose, in order that. So this sanctification, the sphere of the word, is in order that he might himself present to himself, the church, glorious, not having spot, nor wrinkle, nor any such things, but in order that it might be holy and unblameable. Unblameable. Wow. <laughs> You'd say, yes, but he already saved us. He already made us to be unblameable. He, we are already his righteousness. But you know, it was, it is, and it will come. That's all truth. So he did all of that. There is word and there is in the sphere of the word a promise, something that he has for you, a provision for every situation in your life.
for every type of soul, for every type of emotions, for every circumstance, for everything that you can face or not. There is work. The provision is already there. All the promises are yes in Christ. So in this, you learn to tap into. So himself, the Holy Spirit, you know, that's oneness right there. Himself presents to himself. <laughs> himself presents to himself. Think about him and the Holy Spirit are one. <laughs> Holy Spirit is himself. <laughs> Holy Spirit <laughs> is himself. That's such an amazing oneness. Right? Christ is the Spirit and the Spirit is Christ. Mm. The self of Christ. It's the Holy Spirit. Wow. <laughs> Get that. <laughs> so himself presents to himself. The Holy Spirit, which is Christ in us, presents to Christ which is Holy Spirit, the right hand of the Father. <laughs> himself presents to himself the church, glorious, no spot, no wrinkle. This is coming. So to do that, he is cleansing you. He is removing any kind of distractions from you any kind of blame, any kind of battle with, um, you know, all kind of separation from him. He is removing it. And I have to, I have to close with this because in verse 28, he says, in this manner ought also husbands to love their wives as their own bodies. I, I do believe there is a, a resurrection, a change in the way the, lo the, the, the husbands love their wives in yeah, this manner. Yeah. Not pointing the wrinkles, <laughs> not pointing the spots, but to present them to Christ in us to present our wives on earth to Christ in us. I present to Christ in me, my wife, as glorious. No spot, no wrinkle, or any such thing. When is the last time when you looked at your wife and you said, you are perfect? And I love you perfectly. When is the last time you did that? Christ looks at us right now. And he's in love with us. And he says, you're glorious. You're perfect. And he says, I'm in love with you. Do you hear that? Husbands, say that to your wives. It's time. It's a beautiful time. Welcome to the wedding. The wedding of the Lamb. Where the wife, the bride, is prepared.